Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. Welcome back to another episode of the Blue Balls podcast. I don't know if this is episode 36. Is that right? 36. I can't keep count. Um, but listen guys, we're pumping back. them out. We're trying. We're trying to get some content out people. I feel like during the international break the channel was just so quiet. In all honesty, I needed it. I just didn't want to think about anything to do with Chelsea. Um, but I've recovered. I've recovered. And um, even after the Burnley game, I still feel relatively uh, rejuvenated. I feel like there is still something to play for this season. Obviously, we've got the uh, Cup semi-final coming up against Man City. Uh, we've got United on Thursday. We've got Sheffield away as well. Um, really good opportunity to pick up points. And if we are able to pick up those points... Maybe there is a chance of Europe. Maybe. How long? Looking Alex, up to the Lord. How long have we been saying this, bro? <laughs> let me just let me just let me just start off by telling you. Let me just start off. I don't know if okay. you guys have been seeing my videos and that on my channel lately. Yeah, I've written off the season, bro. You've I'm done. All off. I've I've written it off. I've given these men too many chances and too many opportunities to to prove me wrong, and they still can't do it, Alex. Yeah, I spoke to you before we played Brentford. I spoke to all of you lot before we played Brentford. I said, Brentford have lost 10 out of their last 12 games. We cannot go to Brentford and, and drop points over there. We drop points, yeah? We played a back five. You know, we had two attackers on the pitch. I was screaming down the phone when I called you. And then towards the end of the game, when he decides to bring on all these attackers, we look a lot better, you know? Then I'm looking at the schedule again. Oh, look, we've got Burnley coming up. Relegation candidates who don't play a low block. You know, we don't like playing teams that like a low block. So... We should be we should be eating like there and getting three points again. We've already beaten Burnley four one. Or what do we do? Set piece again. Or what do we do? Second half straight away. Lack of concentration. Another banger. What do we do? Give goals to players like Cullen. Give goals to players players like Lewis Miley. Give hat tricks to players like Cunha. That's what we do. We've got Man United coming up now. They're shocking. They had. 80, Brentford had 85 touches in the box against Man United. Over 30 shots against United. They, they, they didn't do that to us. But then United will come to the bridge and it won't surprise me if they look like Barcelona again. It won't surprise me, it won't surprise me if we look like Liverpool. Mason, 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 Mason Mount's going to bang. I can freaking put £100. Yeah. I can so, see so, so right now, as much as I'm looking at these things, yeah, we've got Sheffield away, we've got Everton away, we've got this away. Bro, we are our own worst enemy. Cole Palmer said it after the game. We do these things to ourselves. No, you're right. We do these you're things right. to ourselves. I'm scared of. I, I, I've yeah. got no belief. I've got no belief because I haven't seen performances for so long, and I keep hoping that things are going to get better. But they're not getting better, Alex. We're in March, and even though yeah. we're in the semi-final, and I'll be at Wembley, I've got no belief in this team. I'll support the team, but I'm just looking at it like, okay, cool. Let me see how we how, let me see how we get on today then, because I'll, I'll never not watch the games. That's that's something I'll never do, and I've never done that. Yeah, I will forever watch the games, but I just don't have belief anymore you know so i don't care about the fixtures we've got easy fixtures on paper i think they're the second easiest fixtures um till, till now uh, between now and the end of the season actually right but we just we just we just uh, the players hate themselves Poch hates the players he hates himself it's a recipe for disaster bro so for me i've written off the season i've written off the season i've written it off bro yeah, man, it's not, it's not, not, not quite written off, brother. There's still a lot no, to play. Yeah, no, I've written it off. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. I mean, I mean, logically speaking, like, I get what you're saying, and emotionally, I get as well. Obviously, it's been, it's been a bit of a shit show. Like, there's no denying that. But um, we've still got the semi-final, and honestly, mate, although we are our worst enemy, all we need is it to click in the final part of the season, and we can still pick up some points towards the end because it's, it's, hmm. it's just, not, it's just not going to. click. Things can't well, just change. Uh, no, Alex, slightly, fact, you know, fact, Alex if, if, if you're three quarters into a season, you can't expect things to click now as it would have clicked along. It doesn't take nine months to things start clicking, bro. This is this is what it is right now. But mm -hmm. what I'm trying to get to is it's the simple defending issues I have a problem with right now. This is why Posh has got to go, man. Like he has got to go. And Alex, if you're still Posh in brother. You are fucked in the head, brother. You I don't know what you're smoking. I don't know what you're smoking. You are saying this. No, no. I'm saying this. I'm from Middlesbrough, brother. I keep telling you this. But 
Before you talking about, you were talking about trust the process a few weeks ago. No, 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 no. No, I wasn't. I wasn't saying that. I wasn't saying that. I was not saying that. I was not saying that. I was not. I was punched out from Middlesbrough away. We've done it, Don. We've done it. We've not changed, bro. Bro, look at the defensive fucking commodities we've gone through every single week, brother. Look at the fuck. Why did you like? Every week, a defender is getting caught underneath the ball every fucking week. He is not teaching, he's not coaching these defenders how to defend. He has not, he has not improved one player. He has not improved the gameplay. So, how hey, is he still in charge of this team? Well, well he can't. Wrong. He, he cannot coach the simple defensive skills, brother. Simple defensive skills. I had set up a back four. I had to fucking defend the cross. I had to defend set plays. He's is not doing it. So that yeah. means he's not got out of it, brother. And this, these yeah, are things that even yeah, fucking Sam Allardyce, even, even Sam Allardyce, hmm. the fittest manager, even Steve fucking Bruce, bro, to set up a team to defend a corner. And Pochettino is yeah. managing Chelsea, yeah. brother. And we fucking conceding every single week of a set play. Every okay, Kev, okay, Kev, just, just on that, Kev, just on that. We are on course. On, don, don, we don, are on don, course don. to concede the most don. amount of goals. Hold, hold on, Alex, yeah. We are on course to concede the most amount of goals, yeah, in a Premier League season, bro, since the Prem started. We are on course to 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 to, to concede yeah. that many goals, bro. And last season, bro, our, our For a Chelsea team, Don. For a Chelsea is. team. Do you know, do you know how yeah, bad that wow. is? You know, people Prem. try to switch it and say that we've improved because we're scoring more goals. Bro, we weren't conceding this many goals last season under Graham Potter. As much as we weren't scoring, we weren't conceding this many goals, you know? This team, it should not be, this team should not be this bad. And I mean, okay... I am not the uh, Bally Sheen and the Sarsis biggest fans. I, I don't rate them at all, to be fair. I'm not, I, I don't feel I'm going to change. But still, I don't think that that, 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 that bad of players where you're getting caught. Oh, you're, you're getting caught ball, ball watching. You're not even watching your man. Every single week, we've seen our defenders doing the same thing on crosses. And this is where a coach will say, you know what? In training, what we're going to try and do now is we're going to try and set our defensive line up so we're conceding less goals on crosses. And throughout the season, brother... Like you said, you said to me five minutes ago that things might pick up at the end of the season. It's not going to pick up, brother, because you're nine months into the season already. This is this is it. This is Pochettino. This is your end. Finish, end product. You're talking about a manager which is touching 50. This is Pochettino. He is not cut out right. to be a top-class manager. Right. He's okay. not. Right. So we'll just go with um, Sky Sports. Yeah, I'm going to bring this up. So 31 games, Potter. 31 games, Poch. 12 wins Potter, 15 games Poch. Eight draws for Potter, five for Poch. 11 losses each. 38% win ratio for Potter, 48% for Poch. Both in 11th. Okay, so yes, we're in the same position, but we're 10% better, if you want to call it that. Statistically, you, I'm just going from win percentages. It's a fact. It's not an opinion. It's we spent fact. 700 and something million. It's true. Pounds. It's true. And if I was to say to you next season, we would go from 48 to 58, would that be a good improvement? Absolutely. Yeah, but football's not linear, Alex. It's not going to happen. <laughs> but, 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 no, but it's part of clearly with the data. It's part of clearly with the data. But it's true. It's true. We are No, no, it's not. We're it's not. And also, we I saw, Alex, I saw you like a tweet saying... Um, Potch is one point better off than Oh, I did that. I did that to Potter, take right? Yeah, I saw that and I just knew that that was that's the tweet you've been waiting for for so long for him to like overtake. But the issue I have, right, is look, fair enough. If if that's what he's achieved so far, that's his biggest achievement yet as a Chelsea manager to be doing them better than what was previously done before him. But it can't be called people are calling that an improvement on last year. I don't think you can call it an improvement when it's this squad's first time at it. And I think the issue we've said so many times is there are plenty of managers out there that could be doing a better job with the crop of players that he's got. Another thing, obviously, I'm sure we'll get onto is Bowley's comments today about the level that he believes this Chelsea squad is at because I'm not sure who he is to announce that they're the level that he thinks yeah, they mate, are because I, I don't know I what evidence he's based on. I just did a video on that. Well. Yeah, video huh? on that and, sorry, mate, right. sorry. No, you're cool. Um, but honestly, we're here to discuss it. So I think yeah, the yeah. first thing is, is that, yes, OK, we're in a better position potentially in terms of points, but I don't think we can call it an improvement because how can you say this squad's improved when it's a completely different 
bunch of players that have been put together. So it's their yeah. first go at the Premier League under Pochettino. You can't be saying he's improved us because you can't judge what he's improved because it's not the yeah. same thing. Yeah, yeah. And I, I agree with that. Um, I think we've improved for a number of reasons. I think that we have a team that are more hungry than they were last season. I think we have a team that plays better football. So you football think as we... a club we've improved, we've moved forward from last year? No. No, no, no. no. That's I, not I what you mean. That, I think that right. we. I think we, what you're trying to say is the circumstances have improved, Bob. The circumstances yes. have improved. Right. Yes. Yes. And so we are in a better position in that sense. Um, we have a team that are more hungry than they were last season. I think we we play better football than we did last season. Um, I think generally we have players who play for the badge more than more goals than we did last season. Um, defensively, we're not as good, but that's because we're scoring a lot more goals. We're more open. Bluntly, obviously, there's going to be lapses defensively. I would never realize that it would be this bad. When we go back to Kev's point about set pieces, our goalkeeping coach is in charge of set pieces because the set piece coach that we had before, who was one of the best, went to Bayern Munich. So we no, lost that. Alex, we didn't get Alex, 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 be able to yeah. sell your centre backs. You should be yeah. doing drills in training, which you can say, look, the ball's coming that way. You have to, you have to look there. Week. There's a striker there. You have to defend. Every week, our players are getting caught under the ball. That's just basic. As an 80 grand a year coach, 80 grand a week coach, what yes. you know, should be still be able to coach these players. I think it's only yeah. even more than that. I think it's only 11 million a year. 11 no, million boys, a year. Boys, boys, I'm, I'm not. not, I'm not, not saying, look, this, is I'm not just, this, is, this is just coaching your players' basic. Stuff, um, but Kev, he's not doing it. Kev, that is, that is, that's the key thing for me, bro. You made it. You made a key point there, and I use the key word basic, Alex. Basic this stuff. manager has not been able to do the basics that I expect from a guy that's got yeah. about fifteen years' experience managing. Yeah, he's not. He, yeah. he hasn't just. We didn't just pick him up. Yeah, like like Arteta, where he came from, um, Man City, and he is learning on the job. That's completely yeah. different. Then you can say he's yeah. learning on the job. This is a manager that's been in the job for a while, bro. For a while, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. If you get if you get a job, even away from football, yeah. Let's say a company take you on because you've got 15 years experience, but you, you keep making basic mistakes. You're gonna get sacked, bro. Why did they because, take because him? Because they, why did he, because they why don't did they take him on. They, bro, they took him on because they believe that this is the guy for the job. No, no. For the right. long term process. No, no, no. There's there's a long term process, right? You don't just earn a long term process. You got no, no, you, no, but there's you managers. Have, that are specific to that. Jurgen yeah, Klopp doesn't sign for Chelsea. Alex, but, Alex, but, yeah, but Alex, 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 let me just say something. Yeah? There, there is knowing Alex, that he needed the time. Alex, there is there is no long term if you're not able to do something in the present. And right now in the present, we are eleventh. Yeah. So I don't understand how you can say, yeah, there's not just, many just, points in done. There's not many Alex, points in it. Alex, the thing is, though, yeah, you can't, you can't, it's true. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't compare Jorgen Klopp to Posh. You cannot compare I'm, I'm not comparing yeah, him. Yeah, I'm saying... can't. yeah, exactly. But when he took over Liverpool, brother, he had the fittest players. He had freaking RJ Boronin and Moreno, Alberto yeah. Moreno, guys yeah. like that. And the thing yeah, is, even players. even back then, even back then, yeah. in and he's got freaking, he's got some potential world beaters. He's got Nkinku. He's got Palmer. potential world beaters. He's got Jackson. Oh, okay. He's got he's got he's got past players at his disposal. He still can't set up the team to to play a certain way every week. It's mix and match, brother. We're not consistently playing the same way. Like like I, I keep yeah. saying against Villa, we play brilliant. Against Palace, we play brilliant. Brilliant. And now we've dropped back to the same shit we've been seeing all season, brother. And then we'll go and play good again. The manager is killing this team, brother. And no, I said it from Middlesbrough, no, he's, he's killing not. the team. The manager brother. is not he, killing this team. He's killing the and team. The, gra the oh, grass is not always bro. greener. The grass is not always greener. I was with Potter and then I said, get rid of Potter. And now I'm looking at Potter and I'm saying, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't have sat the guy based on what we're seeing at the moment. Okay. I mean, again, I'm Alex, not standards, your, standards, standards have dropped, your standards have dropped. Oh, you are. Kev, you've dropped Kev, to mid-table mentality, brother. You, you it's not mentality, drunk, bro. Kev. It's but look at the situation we're in. Keep fucking passing, bro, yeah. Wait, really wait, 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 let me ask Alex. We've sat Carl and Ancelotti and Mourinho's and Conte's of the world, but you still want to keep fucking... You're happy about that. Still... Kev, <laughs> let, me ask, let me ask Alex a few questions, yeah, because you're saying about oh. Poch was brought in. Poch was brought in for a long-term process. Of course so he was. Everything you're out of the club, they think about long-term. 
What was your what was your target when we hired Poch? What was your target at the start of the top season? Top four, hundred percent, top four. Yeah. And, so and we have we have absolutely fallen below that. But so, so we've got no, 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 hold on, hold on. See, see, hold on now. Yeah, you because let you, me you ask got, the question. No, you, you said you said you've you've given me your you've given me your target, right? You give me your target, but we are eleventh right now. Yes, context, my friend. Eleventh. Yes, because we thought the players were better than they were, and now we know they're not. And that's where we're at. But the thing is, this the thing is, yeah. Look, this this is the thing for me. I don't think Poch takes all the blame. I've said this a million and one times. Yeah, it filters down from the owners. It goes to Poch, Absolutely. and then it go, and then it goes to Absolutely. the players. But what I've banged on about, and I'm I'm glad that I do content on that on the terrace. If you go look at my fan cams every single week, yeah, I said from the start of the season, these men are young players. Create the best and easiest platform for them to do well. And Pochettino consistently failed to do that. Consistently, bro. Yeah, like I said. Basic things like playing people in their normal position. He could. All of a sudden, Thiago Silva, who's 38, 39, needs to start every single game. So that means that Levi goes at left back now. And that means Ben Chiwell goes left wing. You know what I'm saying? Gallagher, he's the best midfielder, apparently, because he presses. He's got all these energy. He's got four lungs. So I'm going to play him in a pivot and play Enzo in a 10 and make it harder for him to play his game. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna play this guy over here and make it harder for him. Absolutely. But, but you're but you're not but you're but you're doing that to guys that are barely experienced, barely, barely seasoned pros, not even in the prem, just in general, because they're all young. Yeah. This is not Man City where you've got a lot of a lot of players that have been playing for a while and they know what they're doing. Do you know what I'm saying? So this guy is making it harder for them. Like I told you lot before, if you've got a bunch of guys in school that aren't the smartest kids, you're not gonna give them a higher paper to do, you're gonna give them the foundation paper, so trying to make it easy for them. You're trying to make it easy for them, yeah? Mm -hmm. This guy's been making it so advanced for them as if they're better than what they are. We know that they're not they're not the greatest players, but they're better than this. You know I'm what I'm just, saying? They're better than this. I, I'd just like to go... I'd literally like to go and just watch a training session. I really would. I think there was an open training session last week. Um, and a couple, he went now. Nah, that guy off Blues, Lock Blue Lions TV, he went. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, and, Nini, and, and he, Nini yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't too impressed with it. He said there was just doing rondos and, and shooting. Yeah, but they're never going to, on an open session, they're yeah, never going to show anything. Yeah, yeah, but I... Was I, it not I, I, I yeah, yeah, well. yeah, listen, I really, I know, yeah. but apart from that, I really can't come to, my, come to like, figure out what they are doing in training. and Because it's, it's certainly, they are certainly not working on defensive stuff. Because that's what's killing us. No, they can't, they can't. Because oh, what? So what? Why? Why are we continuing to see if they are working on defensive stuff, Alex? Why are we shit every single week? Why are we giving away the same? Because then, Kev, every Kev, week? Kev, what? if they're working on defensive stuff and we're still seeing errors, and Alex says, of course they're working on defensive but stuff. Any which, team would be working. Okay, on yeah, I think we might be naive to think that. I, to be honest I'm with you, saying, I genuinely saying, think we I'm might be naive know, to I'm, think I'm that, Alex. Basic, it coaching, means they're not good enough. Coaching, Kev. Coaching, that's no, what no, no, it's not. It's it does mean that, Kev. If they're working on defensive stuff, no, it means over the coaching... No, 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 no. These are professional players. On, Kev, on, Kev, on Kev, 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 that is such poor mentality to have, no, no, man. They're no, professional no, kids, no, right, no, playing no, in the they, top they league. Should be, no, they should be doing the basics. I'm not a not fucking Kev, professional Kev, footballer. Kev, Kev. If I'm marking a fucking strike in the box, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to stand in front of him. I'm oh. going to come to a place where I can defend. Like this is basic stuff. Is he? What's he telling them in training? What's he doing in training? Is he coaching okay, them? Kev, is he giving them why? advice? I don't believe you're never going to know what he's telling them in training, right? So you need to you need to stop stressing about that because you're never going to know. The only way you find out is by watching what patterns repeat every single game because he's never going to come so out and say. This so, is so, my, so my question to you is: What's what's the repeat? What's re, what's been being repetitive? What yeah, are we right. Every so this week? is what I want to say. The same defense errors. Uh, the same defensive week. errors seem to keep occurring, which you're saying you're talking about players getting stuck under the ball, players not being aware of who's not around marking, them. Not marking, uh, yeah, all right. There's a lot of individual errors that are coming in there that actually. Unless there's a coach who's been appointed to be working on these defenders' individual errors, right? And it genuinely means either the players aren't improving and they're not good enough and they can't step up to the level that they're required to do so in the Premier League. So they're either not good enough to be good enough defenders in the Prem. doesn't matter if they're professional footballers or not. Professional footballer is such a broad term. You can be professional in non-league football. 
right? They're professional footballers that are lucky enough to be at the top of the game. But how many players have we seen start their careers off at the top and fall all the way down? Unfortunately for us, though, we're the, we're the club that are the mugs that have paid excessive amount of money for players that are unproven because a lot of teams do not do that. Second of all, if there's anything going on on the training ground, if, if genuinely we're seeing them trying to defend in a certain way and we're still conceding goals, it might mean, and we believe the players are good enough, it then means the coaches aren't good enough. That's, that's what it is. It's as simple as that. So yeah, these players might be good enough. We're not sure. If we no. see the same pattern and the players are doing everything right, but we still concede, then I'd, mm. then I'd blame the coaches. If we see the same patterns from the players, but the coaches are, we're aware that they're trying to improve that because we're seeing what they say, then we have to look at the players and suggest that they might not be good enough. Look, it's difficult, but I wouldn't stress out on the fact that we don't know, we're never going to know what Pochettino is telling them to do unless we see consistent things happening over and over again. My the issue is that for the whole mm. season, I haven't mm. seen, we're, we're just consistently inconsistent in every single aspect, whether that's team selection, the ideas that we're applying on the pitch, the substitutions, tactics, the way he talks in press conferences, the messages from the club, every single thing at this club right now it's is sure. inconsistent. Everything. Mm -hmm. From the board all the way through. The board come in, he starts off saying, I'm going to establish a group of young players that are ready to compete, blah, blah, blah. Now he's come out in this thing today in Forbes saying, oh no, they just need to gel as a team. They're this unbelievable, talented individual players. Sorry, Todd Bowley, but when you when you appointed yourself sporting director and you signed half these players, look at the results they've given you. How can you call them unbelievably talented individual players when you ain't got a scooby about football? Yeah, no, the thing is, yeah, the thing, the thing, the thing for me, right, Dan. Look, and listen, with Pochettino, he, he, he dug his own grave from early, and I, and I, I, I'm not just saying this now. I said it from the start of the season. Yeah, we've had injuries, cool, but even without injuries, he chops and changes too much, right? And one key thing people forget about in football, forget about tactics, chemistry, bro. Yeah, Pochettino literally came out and said, "We literally just give the ball to Cole Palmer and just hope that he knows what to do." Right. Because we look at we look like a team, we look like a team of individuals right now, right? How can a manager basically come out in the public and tell us these men we're, we're not we're, I don't see any patterns. Tactically, we're shit. It's basically just give it to Cole Palmer and let him do what he wants, right? And a big part of that, like I said, is when I when I watch us, it's a team full of individuals. Buddy Ashill, I'm sorry, Kev. I know you said you don't like him. Buddy Ashill was not playing like this last season, bro. No. I was impressed. I was impressed by what I saw. I even tweeted out. Yeah, saying Baddy Shill was a gem. We found a gem in Baddy Shill. Do you know what I'm saying? We even made a song for the guy because of how good he is. You don't just make songs for everyone. You know what I'm saying? He's a good player. But this season, he's looking like... We've got, we got a song for fucking Conor Gallagher, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's looking, he's looking, like, he's looking like he's forgotten how to, how to bang ball. Do you know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah. You've got, you know, Desarcy. We know Desarcy is a squad player. So we can't expect... We can't crash it on him too much because we know he's not... He's only here as a squad player, and he's only getting a lot of game time because our other players can't stay fit. That's the only reason why we keep seeing him week in, week out. But end of the day, yeah. these men have not been able to build relationships or know how to play together because there just hasn't been a consistent line up for them. It's, you know? it's, it's not It's not and it's, changing, chopping and changing. Yeah. And if you, Kev, you're a coach. Yeah, you, you've, bang, you've probably played the game and you guys have probably played the game as well, right? When you just go play with footballers, like, I remember when I used to play for County, yeah? We got to a London Cup final, right? I was in, I was in year 10, actually. Right mm. for the final, our manager dropped pretty much the whole team. All these academy ballers that are playing for Norwich, Palace, Charlton, he told them to come. He put them all on the pitch. We lost that game 4 1. Right? We lost that game 4 1. And we got to the final. Right? And even though everyone on the pitch was good, and these, these were academy ballers, most of them, right? They had no chemistry. They didn't know no, how to play together. Do you know what I'm That's saying? Football is, not, football is not an individual sport. It doesn't care if you've got 11 Ronaldinho's on the pitch. If they're not the team, teams win games. And what you're seeing is teams with a core, like say Cities and Liverpool, have had that core for the longest. These owners have came in and stripped her core. And I mean, Georgino was everybody's favourite, but he was part of that core. You know what I'm trying to say? Kovacic was part of the core. Kante was part of the core. Like we had players that sat there and they knew about the club and they knew how to play a ball. Now, I look and... 
I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't see where the leadership is. I can't see where that graft is. I can't see That's where it's not there. Is. It's completely gone. It's completely gone. And this is the reason why we are now. There's, there's bad coaching, bad players equals shit results. <laughs> and every week yeah. we're saying the same shit. So we can't we can't sit here. And my, like for me now, I'm under the conclusion that this is as far as we're going to go right now. And like I said, yep. the rights in the the right to the finals are, are bubbling up at the moment. Hopefully, in the summer that we we sign experienced players to move forward. But we've done as far, we've done as best as we can. I think if we finish in the top ten, that's good enough. We've got to Wembley twice. Maybe that's just, maybe maybe Don, you are right. Maybe this is as far as the season is going to go. Yeah, I mean, look, that, that's definitely. Yeah, obviously, if we lose at Wembley, then it's going to be difficult to us get through the Premier League. Like, that's yeah. obvious, but. As I said, there's not actually that many points in it, boys. There really isn't. Yeah, All we need Alex, is a we're not small run. Points up. We're drawing to Burnley. We know what it is, Alex. I can completely see what Alex is. He's <laughs> is, is got the. You've got to have what belief. I'm saying is it's not unrealistic. No, no, no. You've got to have. I, I, the last few weeks, I had that bit of belief. But when I was in that game on fucking Saturday, it's gone again, bro. If you can't be a fucking managerless Burnley with ten players at home when you two one up, that's it. That's it's gone. That bad, Alex, that Alex, Alex, and, and that's the, it's done. That's the key bro. word, Alex. That is the key <laughs> word here. Belief. We know it's that. On, we it's know that on man. paper we're not far away from United. We know yeah. all of this. Yeah, I've, I've acknowledged. Know. I've acknowledged that the fi the fixtures we've got coming up are winnable games, and we can climb up the table. That you're you're right in saying that. That's a fact. But end of the day, like I said, like Kevin said. We haven't got the belief. This is not me writing off the season in, in uh in last year in October after seeing a bad bad few performances. I'm writing it off in March because we're now in the business end of the season and we still haven't been able to get our shit together. You know, there's a lack of transparency. Where the hell was Levi Colwell? I thought he only hurt his foot, his, his toe. It's Where's he been? Shit, bro. I'm Everyone's... seeing him posting pictures on Instagram today, but where is he? Where is he? Do you know what I'm saying? Everything's a mess. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of work to do in the summer. There's some players, you know, we need to bring it. We need to shape up, like I've said. Right now, the, the trim's basically half done, you know? The Barber's Clippers died halfway through the trim. That's basically what it is right now. So I'm just waiting for guys to get fit. I'm waiting for this manager to get sacked. And I'm waiting for at least three, four players to come in, especially a striker. We need a new, a new left back. We need a proper spine right now, mm -hmm. right? And that's what I'm waiting for. That's why I'm just saying to you, as much as, yes, on paper, we can, we can push up the table, I just don't have that belief. I don't have that belief. You know what I'm saying? I don't have it, bro. You, you know, right. one thing I will say as well, just going back to defensively, what Dan was saying, you made some great points. Um, and, and I completely agree that defensively we've been shocking. But one thing that doesn't make it easy is the injuries. You know, the injuries, uh, you will know this, uh, playing football, I mean, I was a centre-back when I played. You want to play with the same people. You don't want to rotate every week who you're playing with. And, you know, we started off, Having our captain out, Reese James, that's not great. Gusto has been fantastic. Fair play to him. And then you've got other players who are going in and out of that squad. Um, <laughs> it's, it, you, how are you supposed to form any partnerships? You know, I mean, realistically, our two best centre backs, and I suppose you could include that's, Silver, but he's not really. I'd say Silver so and Colwell are our best centre backs, personally. Yeah, you're probably right. Silver in that sense. Colwell, but I mean, Silver in terms of the future, what you want to build around is for Farner and Colwell. Right, yeah. and both of those guys are injured. Fafana's been out since the beginning. Fafana's been Colwell's injured for two seasons, bro. Yeah, Colwell, Colwell's got a little niggle as well. Um, and I think Kukure is actually a really good left back when played properly. Um, I yeah. think he deserves a chance, but I'll see them getting rid of him um, in the summer because of his wages, which I think is silly. You know, you paid all that money for him. Try and get your money's worth at least. If we sold Kukure and kept. Ben Chilwell, I would not understand that at all. Ah, oh, bro, we you need, need to sell crazy. Chilwell. If you're talking about wages, Ben Chilwell's on 200k a week. He's on more money than him, right? He's not, he's not going to go, though. And he can't, and he can't stay not, fit. They're not going to get rid of him. Yeah, but that's what annoys me, Kev. I don't know what they see when they see Ben Chilwell. I told you guys weeks ago, even before we watched the game for England, every, even rivals now are saying, look at Ben Chilwell and whatnot. You know, And that's what we're having to deal with. We're getting laughed at. Our players are getting laughed at when they go for England. That's how that's how Chelsea have fallen. We had players yeah. like Lampard are yeah. not going to England. John Terry are not going to England. Now our players get laughed at, you know. But then they want to keep Gallagher. him over Gallagher Cucurella. Gallagher. 
Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> we need to we need to upgrade. We need to upgrade on we need to upgrade on Cucurella, as in to bring in another left back here yeah, that is on the same yeah. level as like Augusta. The thing is though, yeah, you, this happy, should, happy, this happy, should have been what you said, yeah. Mm. They've only got to be in that team because they play for Chelsea, bro. Because you've got Inze, which is better than Gallagher in my eyes. You've got freaking better left backs, English better left backs, and Chilwell. So it's only because they play for Chelsea, bro, that they're in that squad. It's got to be, brother. Yeah, it's like it's Minor and Man United, isn't it? It's, Inze, that's just how it is. Inze, nah, 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 he's good. He's Inze, good. Inze, Inze in the camp is the 50 million times better than Gallagher in the camp. I don't give a shit. Gallagher. Again, against Burnley. My man cannot... If you can't get on the ball in the cam against Burnley, bro, if you've got no hope, bro, you, you may as well go and play in the championship, bro, if you can't... Look at fucking Dujby Hall for Leicester. He was cooking against us uh, uh, in our home game in the FA Cup. Look how he was getting on the ball. He was dribbling, getting on the ball. Gallagher, I didn't see Gallagher do that once this season, get on the ball and do that, bro. Gallagher's always running off the ball. He's never getting on the ball. When you're playing against Burnley, bro, you can't get the ball. That's where we miss Chukwemeka. Chukwemeka's yes. a guy, in my opinion, in that sense. And yeah. if we have a fit Chukwemeka, I think we're in a much better position, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, also, I, 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 I just want to put this out there, boys. We must have spoken about it at some point. I can't remember. Um, for me, I would sell Gallagher. I wouldn't have a problem with it. If, if the money's no, right, would. then I would get rid of him. You know, everyone talks him about him. proper Chels. Um, if him, we sell Connor, we riot. How does that make any sense I mean, when you're complaining about, about the standards? Listen, do you know, do you know, do you know what you kind of girl like it reminds me of? It's probably a bit before, you know, Alexis Martin. Remember Alexis Martin? Nah, Russian. come on, man. He's, that ain't a great <laughs> child. He's right. a fucking, he's Alexis Martin, bro. Just runs <laughs> around the pitch, bro. He literally, he's Alexis Martin, the Russian Alexis Martin. The only reason you've made that comparison is because of their barnets, like nothing yeah. else. Martin's, <laughs> I don't know. Smarty was a bit like him because he used to just literally run round. Never used to get on the ball. He used to just chase, 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 chase. Hey, but Connor, I'm, I'm does, telling you, Connor does I'm, get on the ball. Obviously not against Burnley, but he has like in other games. And, and the problem the is he's not been he good enough. He's not, exactly. He's not been good enough when he gets on the ball. Look, I've backed Connor an awful lot. And I do think it's hard to come by a player of his mentality. And I think actually if we weren't as reliant as we have been on Connor, I don't think there'd be outrage. Obviously, if we're talking in, in figures in excess of 50 million, um, then maybe you can look at why we might sell him. Because if look, if we're being serious, if it's a 12-point deduction or 50 million, the form that we're in right now, a 12-point deduction is pretty lethal to us. So actually, we've got to sell him. Because if we are going to be in a position where we could be looking at financial implications that lead to point deductions, then actually... It's worth every penny that we can get out of any player. If it's Col if it's Conor Gallagher, if it's Kukurea, if it's Chile, you know what I mean? Any of those players, right? If they are moved on for a, a for an amount of money that sort of clears us, then I think we can get away with it. I think we can so say that actually, look, it's not worth 12 points keeping Conor Gallagher. We're Chelsea, we have high standards. And actually, yeah. if Connor's one of our main players, he isn't probably good enough. He's definitely not a player we'd buy for 50... Well, actually, we may now, but we wouldn't have three years ago buy for 50 million. Mate, he wouldn't right? even That's get a It wouldn't even... Three years ago, like, imagine... You know what, Kev, he would now. If Jorginho, Jorginho was... What? He's gone from Kovacic, Kante and Jorginho to Conor Gallagher, brother. Right? I think this is the issue, right? And you were saying, Alex, a little bit earlier, is that we've obviously kind of moved away from Potter last season and how we were doing with him. I think what we all believe last year is that this is this the majority of this team is a team that won the Champions League a season and a half ago in 21, right? Mm -hmm. They were all the same players. We had Kante, James, Chile, Mount, Cover, Jorginho, you name it. They were all in that squad. Obviously, Jorginho left in January, but that we all knew what they could do. We know that they'd been third under Tuchel in the league at points. And when everyone was fully fit, we looked like a serious side. The issue then was that how much we fell off. Now, we don't actually know what this team could achieve. And it's what we said very early on and a few weeks ago on the pod is that actually if Pochettino is allowed time and he does figure it out and the squad starts to figuring, figure things out, then they should start moving in the right direction. And it, and it could potentially be linear. But unfortunately, I just don't think it's moving 
as well as it should be in the right direction. I think every Chelsea fan can agree with that. And I think even the owners who have spent the money would agree with that, that we probably expected us to be in a, a, a better position than what we are. We expected better results against lesser teams in the Premier League. And we expected better performances more consistently from this group of players that have been deemed well above adequate for the Premier League. And, and we're just not seeing enough of that. And I think as Chelsea fans, we're sort of so used to putting our blame on the manager. That's where a lot of the fans are directing out at the moment. I'm sort of at this moment in time, I think the blame just has to be spread across the board. I don't think some of the players are good enough and I don't think the manager's good enough. And I don't think the owners are clued up enough. I get it. They're putting people in the right positions who are potentially better but they're all just only just getting their feet under the table in every aspect of this new look Chelsea that the owners want absolutely nothing to do with the old regime whatsoever. Because I actually said it earlier, and I don't want to get into politics, an American ownership is going to want nothing, and I mean nothing, to do with a Russian-ran business. Absolutely zero. Because in terms of marketing, that just doesn't work in American markets. It just doesn't work because they will have no interest in anything with Russian affiliation, right? End of. That's why Bodhi wants everything from the previous Chelsea era gone from the ground staff all the way through because he views it as an own, as a model that is completely different to his. He's got different ideas and eventually he, it may all work out. But I think right now the change is so drastic for Chelsea and Chelsea fans and what we're seeing on the pitch that ultimately it just isn't good enough, right? So, yeah. oh, look, it's confusing, but we've we've said a million times Poch needs to go. We've said he's not good enough. We've said a million times some of the players aren't good enough. We've said a million times what we need in terms of players and different positions on the pitch, what the, what the board need to do. I just want to start seeing some changes or some messages somewhere from the club that, yes, we're going to be proactive in doing this. We can see it too. Because I don't think I'm seeing it from the club that they can see what the fans are seeing, evidently, and the rest of no, the world. They're, they're, not, they're not stupid, they mate. Look, listen, Bob Bowley's on that the X Twitter, X Twitter, whatever it is. He can see everything on there. He even jumps in people's um, chats sometimes as the like, oh, no, That's not him, man. I don't. I don't think that's him. That's probably someone as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 is, the thing about it, yeah. The thing about it, yeah. Look, we've had a we've had a torrid. 20 months now, what's it been 20 months that it's been, it's just been a horrible at the club this summer. It will show us what they're really on. You know, it will show us what they're really on because I'm sorry, like as much as we're in the mud right now, I honestly don't think with that, with that, with that far gone where we can't rectify a lot of these mistakes, you know, because we've got some good players in this team, but we need to bring some, you know, three or four, like I say, experienced players in there. And when I say experience, I'm not even talking about, 30 year like 35 year olds, 36 year olds. I'm just talking about seasoned pros, guys that have been there, maybe won some things, come in here and they can just hit the ground running. They don't need their hand held by this guy and this guy and this there guy. Was, they can just, they can was, just hit the was, ground running. There was plenty of them players available a couple of years yeah. ago when the first come in, but we went for the wrong ones. Yeah. Like the, yeah. That, that season, there was Skinnier, Skinnier from Inter Milan, who was available in the free. He went to PSG. There was plenty of defenders. There was who else? Um, Verratti, Marco Verratti, who's gone to um, nah, his some team. Record. Yeah, his injury record ain't great, though. His injury record yeah, ain't well, great. I mean, I mean, if you get, I mean, I'm, I'm not, but his injury record's not the best, but still, if you can mm. get players like that in your squad, they've been there, done it. The see, the the it's season international professionals. That's what I want to see. We have always a Chelsea football club <laughs> gone and done that. Like even when Balak came in in that era, we were signing the best of the best around. Now it's just. So any not player that no one's heard of and expect them to come into a big club at Chelsea and show him within the season, it's not going to happen. And this yeah. is why they need to change it from they need to change it now. Yeah. Within <clears throat> within the first three signings, if we haven't seen a player that's gone out and won some, I don't care how old you are, because end of the day, age is just a number. Look at Thiago Silva still going now. He's like one of the best players in the league. Yeah, doesn't matter. I don't about know if you age. Call it going now. He's being faded yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. I thought. I thought. Yeah. <laughs> If I, if I a hit, miserable um, end to an amazing if, if career. If I don't see yeah, yeah. what's going out and signing, season pros, like Donda said, mate, I'll even put a fucking right on myself, bro. I don't care. I've had enough of this shit. I can't go into three seasons now. 
Two seasons is breaking my back. Three seasons, bro. I might as well go and support fucking Stoke City, bro. And that's what, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I will not be going next season, bro. I don't, even <laughs> though it will hurt me, I'd like to go and watch my team. I love Chelsea, but I won't be spending my money on that shit, bro. And I that's what I'm saying, Kev. Like, we, that's what I'm saying. Like, the ambition's there. But this season, honestly, like, they can't look at how the season's gone and, and, and go and just not rectify these mistakes. They're very easy to rectify, bro. Very easy to rectify. Chelsea, as much as we're in the mud, we can still attract players. You know what I'm saying? If you've got to pay some of these players a little bit more, like we're going to have to with players like Osiman, you go and do what you've got to do. Do you know what I mean? This is this is football. This is not data. You know, there's only so much you can go off of data. Because Poch came out the other day saying the data shows that we'll be, we should be in the top four. The data doesn't show the lineups. The data doesn't show the in-game. The in -game and it's selective, by the way, because what data has Poch got that suggests that we should really, be four, that, by the way? That really pisses me off, that dude. Crazy. That really pisses me off. Stop making excuses, bro. We are where we are. You can make up all the excuses that we haven't finished our chances, but what about all the defensive errors that we've made as well? Like it's not it's all it's a two it's a two game thing. You have to be able to defend and you've got to be able to score. So if you're mm -hmm. not scoring and you're not conceding, you still got a chance of scoring. But if you're conceding of every single cross that comes to the box, it's it's, it's shown like a team against Burnley and Brentford, teams that we should be wiping the floor with, that we've got to get draws against. It's because we're not descending simple crosses. So he's talking shit again. This is why I believe the guy, his, his mentality is fucking in the mud. He's pissing me off. I've had enough of seeing him now, brother. I've had enough of seeing him, bro. Yeah, I've yeah. Different... I'm, bro, I'm telling you. you. Fucking let the posh bike, posh out bike, by this shit. Is... I've had enough of seeing him, bro. I've, I've, I've thought, enough, I've, bro. I've, I thought I didn't like Graham Potter. This is, this is what, I'm sorry. I don't hate him personally, Potch, yeah? I hate this, this guy as a manager. Because of what he's done to the, what he's done this season and how he's made so many people's perception of certain players like plummet like this plummet like this bro the amount of things i had i had um i don't know if you guys have seen cb he was on my channel yeah um he was on yeah, the terrace i was chatting with him today he, he literally said that enzo is top two worst signings that chelsea have ever made that's what he said about enzo fernandez he's not the first top person i've heard say that as well actually. you know what i'm saying and and for me i'm looking at that i'm thinking yo that makes me hate this guy even more do you know what i mean there's been certain games where enzo has been used correctly but and, and i've criticized his, his performances but I'm sorry, I'm not going to ignore it when I can see the guy being played as a 10. I'm not going to ignore it when I'm seeing him overlapping Ben Chil uh, not Ben Chilwell, overlapping our, our left winger against Everton. I'm not going to ignore it when you're playing Gallagher in a pivot over what? him. The same way, the same way, the same way, Um, uh, what do you call it? Pep played Foden left wing the other day. And for me, I don't think Foden should be starting for England unless he's in the midfield. Because no. he's, he's not, he's not good. He's, he's, he's not that, he's not that he's good on the, on, he's not that good on the wing, right? And if you want to get the best out of these players, you play them in their best positions. No, but the thing is, the thing is, though, it's, it's a different kettle of fish because Folding can go to the right and he still could because it's Man City are that well drilled. They've got triangles all over the pitch and this and that. It's just a matter of yeah, it's but not, point, it's not, it's not remains, with, 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 with Folding, he's not going to stick on the wing, is he? With, with no, but I, I, know, I get, I get that. On the left one wing, I, he's going to be in the middle. He's going to be no, I, there. I, I get, I get that, Kev. But the point that I'm making is, you don't see the best of Folding unless he's in the middle, and it's the same thing as Enzo Fernandez. You don't see the best of Enzo unless he's in a pivot, collecting the ball from the first phase, and 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 you know, helping it progress from A to B. Do you know what I mean? And we've seen that once too often where he hasn't been able to use the team correctly. So let me ask yeah. you, Alex. Well, I, what do you I think? What do you that. think? What do you think of Deserby? What do you think of Deserby? Because I've seen a lot of a lot of our fan base, you know, trying to call him a hip star. But then you've got big clubs like Bayern Munich looking right. at him. You I know, think what right. do you think? What do you, guys? What do you think of him? O open panel. What do you guys think I of Deserby? I mean, if you're looking to play good football in that sense, then I think we will see more of a system than we see under Poch. But there's nothing to say that Deserby would do a better job than Potter, than Pochettino. I mean, really, you're looking at a similar level of manager, in my opinion. Um, I mean, there's nothing on his CV to say that he's going to win anything. I think um, actually Poch has a better CV than Deserby. He does. He has a much better CV. Yeah, but I'm talking about... CV, I'm talking he would have hired Poch nine times over the ten of him and Deserby. Like, I yep. just think... I'm talking tactically, though, Dan. I'm talking uh, right now. No, what I'm looking at, what no, I'm looking no, at, right, yeah, because... this, like what I've seen from Pochettino. Actually, you know what makes it really tough, and this is the mm. thing I'm struggling with: is the longer he's at the club, and the more sort of media comes out, he actually genuinely seems like a really nice person, right? And it's actually difficult to dislike him because I think with Potter, I just didn't like his demeanor, and I just didn't like what he was about. Poch actually seems like I seen him today with the guy who's a hundred, and he's not like embracing him and he's being really nice that's the issue though for me 
That's mm-hmm. the issue. This isn't a manager of a club you, that are winners. You know, right? we that's the issue that you I know, have. Well. Every, just every, just every just single just... every single interview I watch you pop, just, just sit down and watch one of his in, like, interviews at the end of the game. What the fuck is he on about every single week, man? I don't get... One of these coming out his mouth, he's just talking shit. Remember, 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 against, remember, against, Wolves. remember against Wolves? Remember against Wolves? Remember against Wolves? Yeah, Dad, yeah. Language, hold, though, hold on, Kevin. Dad. Sometimes oh. I think things are slightly lost. Nah, 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 nah. Do, do, do you know what, though? Do you know what, though, Dad? You can't, you can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't even hear... I, I can't, can't even hear that, yeah? Stupid. I can't even hear that. I can't even hear that because when we played Wolves, yeah, and then we scored first, he literally came out after and said, "Oh, the goal that they scored against us rattled us because we they, we conceded yeah. first. If you remember that that quote that he said when, yeah, when we played yeah. Wolves away, right? And for me, like I said with Deserby, right? Looking at this team, I thought Port should be able to do a good job because they're young players and he's got a proven record of developing young players, right? But when I spoke to Jem, you guys know Jem, yeah. And Jem used to tell me all the time, like, tactically, I'm not sure about Poch. Like, I've, I've got my reservations on that. And for me as well, that's not something that I, I, I ever bigged him up on. I always bigged him up on developing young players and being able to do the bare minimum. When I say bare minimum, that means the basics. Do you know what I'm saying? But with Deserby, bro, like I've said, he can come in. He's worked with guys like Caicedo before. He's worked with Levi Colwell before. He's worked with Mudrick before. And when you watch his style of play... He likes technical players, bro. He likes to keep the ball and keep keep it moving. The patterns are very clear to see, you know? Mm-hmm. Why can he go to Liverpool at Anfield away and give them a good game? I'm seeing him constantly breaking that press with lesser quality than us. Do you know what I mean? We play, we play ping pong, lack of control football, which doesn't suit these players. And it's no surprise... When, that we, play at the back, when we play at the back, it's not playing at the back with intensity... He's just yeah. playing at the back for playing at the back sake. Yeah. It's not yeah. like it. We deserve it. What you do is you get a few poles out and this and that. Get a few mannequins and then you go through a draw, go through a draw, go through a draw. When it seems like we're playing at the back, it just seems like Pochettino you know, say, no, no, don't don't kick it out. Just play at the back, but we're not going in the training what, what it is and doing it, if you see what I'm trying to say. What, what it is about Deserby, yeah? Every single person is so well drilled, they can play the pass with the eyes closed because they know that guy's going to be there. You know what I'm saying? When Caicedo gets the ball, he knows Pascal Gross is going to be there. When Gross gets the ball, he knows McAllister is going to be there. When McAllister gets the ball, he knows Welbeck is on his bike. Do you know what I'm saying? And that is so well drilled in their brain that they just do it. Do you know what I mean? I see the yeah. same pattern There's, with all, them. there's, there's with, one thing. There's one thing with, 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 on, we oh, hold on, Kev. We, we, we couldn't really go back to Brighton yeah. again in front of a man. No, 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 no. I'm no, sorry, I'm sorry. Safe, I'm, 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 I'm comfortable, <laughs> I'm comfortable, com- safe, uncomfortable conversations, but we're going to have to do what we've got, we've got to do. If he goes to Bayern Munich, I'm sorry, we've missed out on a... On a on let him go to Bayern, bro. Let him go to Bayern. If he goes to Bayern... Let him go to Bayern, bro. Let him go to Bayern, bro. Hold on, hold on. If he goes to Bayern, yeah, we've missed out on a good coach because I'm not saying that De is going to come here and win us stuff. That's not what I'm saying because that's yet to be proven. I know he's done things in Romania and whatnot. He's won the Romanian league and he done well with Shakhtar. He had to leave because of the... Romanian league, bro. I know, I know. But what I'm saying right now is, listen, we've got a floor plan, yeah? You can't move into a house. If you're trying to build a house, you can't move into the house with just a floor plan, yeah? So people keep trying to skip all these steps. Number one, first step, we need a manager that knows how to use our team and then we can build from there. Do you know what I mean? Because right now, we're trying to skip so many steps and just get a winning manager when we've got a bunch of players that need to be coached, a bunch of players that need clear instructions, you know, a bunch of players that don't need to be played out of position every single week. Do you know what I'm saying? And like I've said, when we played Brighton this season, they've given us some good games, bro. In the Carabao Cup, they gave us a good game. You know, when we played them at home, when Enzo scored two goals, they gave us a good game. I will see, for huge parts of that game, Gall- Gallagher even got sent off that game, if you guys remember, in the first half. And we had to bring on um, Matson and play him at right back that game. Yeah? For large parts of that game in the first half, we were getting bopped. But the only thing with Brighton is that they've lost their quality up front, right? And in the midfield, they've obviously lost McAllister and lost Caicedo. But that makes me respect him even more because he's still got them playing the same way, you know? He's still got them playing the same way. And that's a sign of a good coach, you know? And I know he's been getting criticised recently. When he went to Old Trafford, he was he had a mid- midfield of Hoiberg, Skip and Bentacore, right? And he bossed that. He bossed United over there, made them look like the, the, the way to... I know United aren't yeah, great. Come on, that's, but, a, that's a but, decent midfield bar, Skip. Nah, yeah, see, so you're saying bar and Skip. Bar and Skip. That's not that's a guy that, 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 you would put in, that you put into your midfield. But the, the point that I'm saying is... Even though, even Coach. though it wasn't, even though it wasn't his strongest eleven, you can Coach. still see, you can still patterns see that they're well drilled. Exactly, you can still see patterns. You can still see that. And this has such an obvious way of playing, as does Deserby. I think they're actually both quite comparable to each other in where they are in their like management. They've achieved success in other yeah, leagues, but, but actually yeah, but coming to the Premier League, what are they yet to do? 
Yeah, but Pep's predictable. Klopp's predictable. You know what they're going to do, but you... Well, they're, uh, they're you predictable guys, you in what it. they're going to do, but their teams are unpredictable on the pitch in terms of how they're going to achieve success because they have top quality players who but, but, are naturally unpredictable. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but they're, what, my, what I'm saying is their plan A is so good. Like For me, the, the main concern with the Zerbi is I don't see much of a plan B. But I was actually quite impressed with how they defended against Liverpool. Yeah, but Pep day. don't like, have a plan B. Exactly. This is exactly this is my point. Pep will adapt over like three or four seasons to a new plan, but he wouldn't adapt in a yeah. season, really, in terms of that drastically so, moving so, to a. This is this is my point because the biggest football. the biggest criticism that Deserby gets is oh we can be on the end of of serious batterings, which is true to be fair. Yeah, because but so, so is Ange. If you look at what we did to Tottenham, sort of thing, like, yeah, as well. Yeah. He, that everyone said he was brave for playing the same way. It depends how you look at it. You're brave if you don't mm. win trophies, or look, there are plenty of like pragmatic managers who will change week in week out to mm. worry about the other team i think pochettino would probably class himself as one of those i think he worries yeah, he about is. the other team far too much actually when he should be just drilling his team to do the right things which i think if you look at his tottenham side that's what he was so good at is we knew what we were getting from his spurs side his southampton side i think he went to psg and i don't know what happened but i think I too, think many, too, too, many, too, many, too many, too many egos. You couldn't. Nah, I mean, you can talk about egos all you want, Kev, but you don't change how you're going to play. If, if yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. But yeah, he's got to, on, and, and at Chelsea, he's got egos. Off, this is the biggest thing that we actually need to discuss. I was going to ask you guys today, mm. but he has got egos from kids who have achieved nothing, and that's another massive issue. I think. I think these kids have way too much of an ego. Considering what they've achieved in their careers, I think they have this you ego can't get rid because of they were like, either. huh? You can't get rid of them either. They're stuck seven, yeah, eight years. Exactly right. Kids, and I think that's why they have the ego, ego because they've what, been what selected kids? to be the kids put on a nine-year contract. Well, when, when we say I mean kids, Tom, we're talking about you know the players that we've signed under Bowley on long contracts. Yeah, but who do you, who, who, who are you saying has got an ego? I don't, I don't really see anyone in this team that's got an ego like that. Really. Oh, I do. Well, I think Madueke has a massive ego. Let's massive just, let's ego just... that he's completely undeserved. Like, I don't know where... Madueke gets his ego from under-21 football, right? I think you've got the likes of Levi Carwell, who has an, a massive ego. Uh, I, and oh. I don't necessarily think ego's a bad thing, but I think when it comes from the wrong reasons, I then think it can become an issue. Yeah, but I don't... I don't that's what I'm saying. I've got to disagree with that. I don't really... I don't really see well, anyone. You don't that... think there's kids in this team that, that are they're individuals. They don't. I can, care agree, I can agree on Madu. I can yeah, agree on Madu. Okay, I can agree on Madu. Okay. Um, yeah, I, think... I don't. Jackson. I don't... Jackson's full of ego. He thinks he's the nuts. This yeah, guy's but... a one in three striker. Yeah, that's the thing. With Jackson, I've spoken about his mentality before. Yeah, when people were getting onto him, I said, I said, for me, when I see him have a poor game at times, the ability is there. I've seen enough of him to know that he's a good player when he's got the ball. But there's certain games he just looks like he doesn't give a shit. So I, I hear what you're saying yeah. in that. In you that go concept, through yeah. the squad, Don, but, in your own time, but, mate, and you'll start going, but, oh, yeah, he's got a point on that man. Got a point but, on Dan, that But Dan, this, like. this is the thing, though. This is the thing. When you've got a guy, like you've said earlier, hi, how's it going? Oh, you're right, Mr. Mr. Nice Guy. That's what happens. That is what happens with these young delinquents. I've called them young delinquents before because that's what they are. Do you know what I'm saying? You're going to have, he's the substitute teacher, bro. They don't respect him like that. They just think he's one of the boys. Do you know what I mean? When you've got a guy that's got authority up there, they're not going to act like that on the pitch, bro. They're not going to act like that. If, if Jose Mourinho was managing right now, we would be 11th place. Facts. I can, I can put my fucking hands on it, bro. If Jose Mourinho was managing now, we'd be at least in the top six. Because he didn't bet. Those projects don't align at all, Kev. That's completely... No, he would. We would be higher in the league. I think, I think, I think, I think Kev's saying that more. With, I think Kev's saying that more because of like how he is, how he is as a manager. He wouldn't. He's not Mr. Nice Guy. Not Mr. Nice Guy. Not, we don't. I don't yeah, care about over him. a season. You're probably right over a season, but then over two yeah, seasons, people start falling out. Over three seasons, he's sacked, yeah, and God. then you're left with a club but, that's but, 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 but For me, well, not, my, my, my favorite, my favorite right now, my favorite right now is managers would be Jose. I take Jose over any manager right now. Just doesn't fit what we're trying to do. I, I, I would do. Two years, no, no, because I just want, I just want the lads to have mental, to embed a mentality. Get these. Jose Mourinho, if he sees, look at, look at even Pogba when he had that disagreement because Pogba before he was bad. All these egos, which Stan is on about, they think they'd be walking around the training pitch like, they, like the, they think they are the sum of the aids. He'd get that. He'd clear all that out. He'd be telling them to fucking. I think what it is, Kev, yeah. I think, Kev, what, what, what Chelsea fans need to realise, yeah, is that we're now living in an era where a lot of these winning managers that we've seen are now sort of coming to the end of, of, of their time. And realistically, the ones that we can get, 
sorry, the, the ones that are available, like Klopp, for example, he ain't going to come Chelsea. Like, he's probably going to take a little break. Pep ain't going to come Chelsea. You know, Zidane's not going to come Chelsea. You know, who else? Mourinho, for me, again, i will rather keep his legacy as it is. I don't want to ruin his legacy because Chelsea right now is a shit show. I'd rather just, I want to remember the good of Mourinho. I don't want him to come, I don't want him yeah. to come here and mess things up. And like, would, like, like Alex, like Alex is saying. I'm, I'm, I would expect him, I would expect him to come in and win straight away. I just want him no, to come hold, in. Hold on. Hold on, Kev. Embed, just, em, embed a mentality yeah. and just get the basics back into, let me finish, get the basics back into the club. And that's, I mean, Mourinho is one of the best defensive coaches in the game right now still is no yeah. been like we haven't got no defensive structure we haven't got no mm. mentality i want these lads to learn of somebody that's what i mean by i'd like marino when it comes yeah. to winning stuff i don't believe any manager can, can come in right now and win anything of this team as it's as think, we are right now yeah i, I think, think the, the point for me is, yeah yeah i think the point for me like when you look at the man the managerial market it's all the new guys that are coming through now like the amarims the deserbies you know ancelotti is not going to come chelsea right now like People are going on as if there's this market flooded full of all these w winning managers and we're in a position to be winning right now. We need to realise where we are. We need to really realise where we are. We need to build the house first. You know, we need to humble ourselves, in fact. And as bad as we are, we still we still manage to get to a final. That's how crazy it is. We still manage to get to a final and now we're in a semi-final. So who's that? What, like, it doesn't mean that we can't still challenge for things domestically if we go and get a lesser manager. Do you know what I'm saying? If they if they get a proper style of play and they know what they're doing, one thing that I can tell you guys is, if we had Deserbi in that final, he is not telling these men to sit back the way the way uh, what would you call it the way um, Pochettino did. Yeah, he'll be brave and he'll say, "Listen, keep playing your game, keep playing your game, and we're gonna beat these lot." That's how he is. You know what I mean? And that's why Sanchez, for example, loves to just play at the back all the time, all the time because he's so stuck with it from Brighton. He's so stuck with it from Brighton. You know, that's and that's what he is. He's very that guy's no, well drawn. Graham Potter, Graham Potter had the same style of football playing at the back when he was there. So and, and for me, I think I, 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 I kind of continue with it on from yeah, yeah. But Deserbi, if you go back and you, I'll, I'll show you guys a video after Deserbi breaks it down for a good ten minutes. His time at Shakhtar and whatnot when he was first coming through, he's been doing this for a minute now. He's been doing it for a minute. And like I said, for me, he's worked with a few players here, like, like I said, Caicedo and whatnot. You know, so I just don't like if the Zerbi was to come to Chelsea and just flop, then I'm sorry, we're just cursed. We are cursed. I just there's no there's like we're looking at him because, like I said, last season I watched a lot of Brighton because we, we had Cole yeah, but there, Don, right? Yeah, Kai there. there. Just looking at him, on hold on, hold on, Dan. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you come on, in a sec. Yeah, I just, I just, I just don't honestly see how he's not able to get the best out of these men that we've got, plus a few more additions. I just, I can't see a world where that happens unless everyone starts to get injured every single week, every single every other day. Do you know what I'm saying? I just think that he this this squad suits him so well, so well, man. You see what you're saying about the, uh, look. There are definitely reasons as to why I think De Zerbi would get a better tune out of this squad than what uh, what Pochettino's currently doing. The issue I have right is that with De Zerbi, what. This is where I find it tough now is because the lines are so blurred. Beforehand, we would probably say that top four going into this season was a must. That's what Alex has said his goals were. And I'd kind of agree, right? What what are we saying is failure if there's or a flop if the Zerbi was to come in and get the job or another manager right now? Because like, where do we genuinely believe this squad of players should be? I know a lot of the Chelsea fans are saying we, we should expect better, but... Where is that? What is what is no, measured no, as success what, no, now? For so this what, what, I look, what I see is, yeah, you've got to compare player for player with other teams higher than us in the league. And when you see West Ham, yeah. West Ham in, got a better squad than seven. us, Kev. Don't even start the debate. I'll, I'll literally go mad. They've got a better attack. They've got a better attack than us. Ooh. Okay, Brighton then, player for player. Do you think Brighton have got a better team than us? Player? Wolverhampton Wonders are higher than us in the league. And they've got a better team than us. No, they haven't. Teams are teams higher than us with worse players are higher than us. So where does it where do where do you think the problem Wolves like, is probably on par? Isn't it? Wolves is probably on par. <laughs> oh, we, we've spent it's, a billion. It's the, it's the, manager, I reckon it is. the thing is, the thing is, if you actually break down a lot of the games that we've had this season, you will realize how 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 a how a better coach would win that game. Yeah. I remember Forest yeah. when we lost to Forest. Yeah. I was God, let's go to what we think success. Shit, though. What is that, Don? Like, what is well, for success? Me, for me, for You're me, right now, Deserby yeah. flops. Right, say Deserby. Yeah. Say we say it ends abysmally. Right, we lose to City. The season falls flat. 
on its backside and 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 Poch has to go because look, he's got to eat humble pie and so does Todd Bowley because we're just not good enough. No one's achieving mm. what they should. We go and get De Zerbe. You're you're perfect man for this squad. What in a, in say we're sitting here on the second of April, twenty twenty five. How how are we measuring whether or not he's flopped or not? Well, where for where, me, are, where for should the squad be at? If yeah, De was the manager, what I would say is a flop is if he comes in. And it's still ne- not able to implement a clear style of play, you know, which right. again, I just don't see happening because of what how he about is if, like, under right? Potter, we had a clear style of play and we're still in the same position in the league? Yeah, well, obviously, like, we're gonna, you know, I, like I said, I don't, I don't see a world where we're playing well and we don't do better than 11. I just, it's hard for me to visualize that. It's very hard for me to see a world where we're playing better. And, yeah. and, and you know, we're losing all these games. Because for me, that's where you get your belief. Like I've said, you get your belief nah, yeah, from yeah. bro. And you know you what it is, though? I keep saying this. We can. We can play. We can, he, does, he can set us up properly. He can play players in the right position. He can stop all the playing at the back football. He does it in one game and then reverts back to the same nonsense in the next game. He's, not, he's, he's his own fucking worst enemy. But Patricino ain't right in the head. Because, like I said, like fucking, like, for, for instance, against... Uh, Burnley, Saturday just gone, yeah. You've got Cole Palmer, who, who could play in the 10. You've got Mudrick, who could start on the left. And you had Mud- Mudaway case come off an international mm-hmm. break and it's cooked. He's trying to play them three behind Jackson. What does he go and do? Plays his fucking son, Conor Gallagher in the 10. We all know Conor Gallagher in the 10 sucks, bro. Like, mm-hmm. that's, the, that's the only word to describe Conor Gallagher in the 10. So if he keeps on choosing and making, he keeps on making these decisions week in, week out, but we're here sitting there think, saying, why have we lost all drop points? It's because Pochettino. Simple as that. It's fucking Alex, over. just because, obviously, we get. I can see where we are with the time and stuff, but I'd love to know what you think on this because you're you're fully, at the moment, sort of potching and you've been very positive about where you think he can take the club and you know what I mean, right? We, we've had this discussion yeah, a number yeah. of times. You obviously said before the season started where we thought our players were at, we should be finishing fourth. Let's say Poch keeps his job, which I think is looking increasingly likely. I'm not sure what it takes for him to lose this job, right? Mm -hmm. What next year? Where are your standards at next year? Because I I think fourth now looks unachievable even next season. Where where do you... Mm -hmm. Obviously, that can kind of change with signings and outgoings and whatever, but... What, where are your targets at for next season? Obviously, we visited Wembley a couple of times. Yeah, what do yeah. you see? I think that'd be quite a good point to finish on. Right. Well, the way I see it, based on what I've seen this season, based on what I think we are right now, I think if if we won the FA Cup, I think that would be a huge success. Um, if we didn't win the FA Cup and we got Conference League, I think that would be enough, to be honest with you. that That shows me a clear progression. Um, and that will give players the opportunity to actually develop, rotate um, and play more consistent football, which we haven't been able to do this season. Uh, as for next season, I think it really depends on the owners more than Pochettino. I think if he's backed and he has better players, then we'll just get better results. I think that's the same with but any where, team. Yeah, but where, like, if you had to, if you had to pick a place in the league, I know that's hard. Be but looking like, at Champions League football, hundred so percent. Still saying four or five. Right. Yeah, you would be looking at that Champions League football because let's just picture we signed Victor Gorkarez or Osman, so a, a top striker who, by the way, is still an option for us. I think that 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 really could be real, especially if we had European football irrespective of Conference, Europa, Champions League. As long as we had that, then I think that we've got a chance. And then we just need a few pieces of the puzzle. I think, I think play, we need more, more, more than the freaking strike. We need to replace it with Thiago Silva as well. Um, I think yeah, we'll probably, end up getting, we'll probably end up getting two defenders, a striker, and personally I'd like to see another, another attacking midfielder as well, um, especially no, with El Gallagher. Um, no, I, I, no, I think Palmer and Kinku have got, and uh, Chukomenko got that covered. I think we need another centre. No, no, you're looking at that, because the they're going to be that injured. We've had. So yeah. that that that's what why I'm looking at, at that position. Um, obviously, for me, Chukomenko is easily getting into the squad, 100, percent and Kinku as well. Um, but if they're not available, you need someone to come in. And I'd like to see Mudric in the ten. To be honest with you, I'm, yeah, I think um, I think if Potter wasn't the manager and if De Zerbi was there, it'd be interesting to see if he kept playing him on the wing. Or if he would try oh, Mudrick, no, Mudrick, yeah, no. um, the patterns Mudrick I was seeing, well. Mudrick, hey, listen, the Zerbi would love Mudrick on left wing because the way I was seeing Adingra, Adingra constantly getting the ball on the left against yeah, Liverpool. Yeah, Matoma, and it? it's that sort of Matoma, player. he he loves it. He loves that left hand side. So I think he would keep him on the left. 
But for me, honestly, Poch has got a goal. I know Dan saying that he thinks he's going to stay in the job. I don't. I don't see it. I just don't That's see not what how. I want, by the way, just to make I, it very I, I, clear. Yeah, no, I, 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 yeah. I, I, get, I get that, Dan. I don't. I don't know how. I don't. I, 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 just, I, I can I, honestly see I him just, say that. I think they'll give him another transfer window and um, see where we are. Now, you know, it is though. It's the, things, it's the. It's some of the things that he's saying and that. Yeah, it's on. It's, it, it kind of sounds to me as if he knows his time's coming up, man. And for me. This manager, listen, all these injuries, I know the medical team, they've got to do an investigation there. Like I said on my channel, I'm trying to see a 200-page report about what the fuck is going on over there. <laughs> but for me, I, I just don't see it as a coincidence anymore that these players keep constantly coming back and they get injured in training. They get injured here because this manager has got them running around doing bleep tests every other day. Running about doing bleep tests every other day. And they will come out and say, oh, these lot are tired. Like, why the fuck are they tired if we've got one game a week. Do you know what I'm saying? The fitness should be A1 of these guys, in fact, right? But you're, you're coming out and saying that they're tired. So I've got to look at him as well. Is he ruining their, their, their fitness in, in training as well with how he's, he's just literally military training, bro? You know what I mean? It's bad. Maybe, he because knows. I'd say you could say Newcastle are doing very similar and they, they do play a similar way in terms of the way they'd be in, in their training and stuff. They've got numerous amount of injuries as well. I think yeah. the other thing you've got to question, right, is what happens with when we're coming back off international breaks as well, because our record coming back from international breaks is abysmal under Poch as well. It's nah, really bad. No, it is. There's a few things we'll talk about in the next pod because I've mentioned a few of these as well, man. I can't lie. We'll, we'll talk be about back the after Thursday. We will, we will, we'll we'll Absolutely. Um, but unfortunately, we got a dip. Um, cool. <laughs> I've got someone waiting for me. A very pissed off girlfriend. And I think Kev probably has something similar. I've got dinner. Kev's got old. I've got dinner as well, man. I've got dinner. I've got shoot. I off this morning at six o'clock in the morning. It's now nine o'clock. I haven't had nothing to eat. I haven't had the shower. I haven't had nothing, bro. I've got to go. Kev bought a new player on Ultimate Team. Yeah, I'm still going to get Ultimate. I'm still going to get Ultimate Team in the top of that. Wait, Kev, don't tell anyone about me beating you 10-4 on aggregate, mate. Yeah, oh shit! About that. Yeah. About that. Got, I got a play you. Know. I got a play you. Know. My team's decent. I can't lie. Oh, you're not with the team as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. PS5, yeah, PS5. Can you give it the bigger time? Yeah, I'm missing. I'm missing. Oh, what, what a great idea, Alex! What? A great guys, idea. I've actually got to shoot. I've got We're to shoot. We're going to round out the video now, guys. You know the drill. Match bingo. If you haven't heard of these guys, it's bingo with a twist. The link is in the description. Go down there. Click the link. Download Match Bingo. Guys, this is a great way to have a bit of fun with your mates with the upcoming United game. Stick a cheeky two quid. You can win up to 120 quid. That's the most that someone from the channel has won. But I think you can win up to about a couple hundred quid um, if you do well. So let us know how you go. You've got to be over 18. Check it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast as well.